Matthew chapter 2, verse 1 through 3. After Jesus was born, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born king of the Jews? When King Herod heard this, he was disturbed, and all of Jerusalem with him. A clash of kingdoms. Herod the Great was an interesting character. He was a half Arab Hebrew political leader who usurped the throne of Israel by supporting the Romans in a civil war. Upon his coronation, he worked to develop Jerusalem, including building the temple. But this was only possible by impoverishing the people through raising taxes and giving away fertile land to Rome. He was also severely suspicious and violent when he felt threatened. He murdered three sons, two wives, and one mother-in-law under a paranoia that they would take his throne. How do you think such a man would respond to news of a new king? We don't have to read far to find out. He ordered the execution of baby Jesus and every other infant in Bethlehem just to be sure. There can only be one king in Israel, and it must be him. Eternal Salvation Through Jesus Christ No one believe. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. John 3.16 Number 2. Confess If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just, and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. 1 John 1.9 Number 3. Repent Peter replied, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Acts 2.38 Number 4. Baptism Jesus replied, Very truly I tell you, no one can see the kingdom of God unless they are born again. John 3.3 3.